Hello everyone, welcome to Sight Unseen, Kahor Sunset. Kahor Sunset describes itself as a light RPG where you make decisions for an aging French man and try to keep him as healthy and happy as possible. The concept so intriguing to me that I could not help but check it out, so let's do that. It was made by Local Motiva, which seems to be a one-man studio of Rodrigo Silvestre. And I'm really excited for this one, so let's jump in. You can see that I had a game running, but my video uh, failed to record at that time, so we'll start with a new game here. Cahors, France, 1960. You are in the shoes of a French man. French old man. A widower and father of three, who is born and has always lived in the city by the river lot. You will make decisions that will affect, in many aspects, of the old man's health. Your goal was to keep him alive for as long as you can. Some actions are directly controlled by you. Others are not. So here we have our old man. I'm going to immediately apologize for my <laughs> pronunciations of French. I did not take it in high school. I do speak a bit of Nihongo, however. So, Valentin Puget, that's us, 65 years. Cahors, France, it is January 1960. So we can see our attributes here. And I think the help menu uh, will tell us that Below 25 is the danger zone, so we want to keep him above that. So let's hit OK and head into our first decision. You are Valentin Puget, a 65-year-old man born in Cahors, France in 1895. January 1960, a major insurrection occurs in Algiers against French colonial policy. So you can see he took, um, I guess, some royalty-free shots from Flickr and then use a sepia filter for them, and I think it works pretty well, I guess, to go with the theme that he's he's uh, evoking here. So, what will be our decision for this month? Visit your old uncle Pierre at the asylum. Visit a loved one in the hospital. Choose to not go to the movie theater. So, even though that gains us money, it doesn't uh, make him happy socially or mood-wise. I think Visiting a loved one in the hospital might be the best choice for us. Yeah, it doesn't lower anything but his mood, but you think that would raise it. Uh, a good friend is very sick. So that seems to be one of the... Uh, random, I, I suppose is not the right word, but or, or kind of events that are out of our control that affect Valentin. Cahors has always been your life. You never had any interest in leaving. The small French town is the landscape of all your memories, the sweet and the bitter. February 1960, France tests its first atomic bomb in the Sahara. What will be your decisions for this month? So we can watch a Toulouse FC game at the stadium. That's a soccer team, as I understand. Do exercises with other elders in the town square. Go to Pont Ventre to remember great moments of your life. Huh. I don't know if we want to reminisce. I think physical health is our lowest stat. You gotta keep healthy when you're aging, so I think we'll do that. Lowers our weight too, or, <laughs> well, makes, him <laughs> makes our mood go down. Oh, goodness. You could not sleep because of the noise from your neighbor's house. Well, we can see our mood is already getting critical here. You are the son of Nicolas and Juliette Puget. Both gone for many years. Your father, Nicolas Puget, was born in Toulouse, a city he always loved. You also have an appreciation for your father's hometown. I think that's something um, perhaps we don't get too much of a sense of in America. You know, hometowns. Well... I suppose, um, obviously still people feel that way, but I moved, I was born in California and I've been moving ever since, so I don't really have a sense of appreciation of my father's father's house and my father's father's country. My parents are immigrants also. Visit the Cathedral Saint Etienne. Social life plus one, mood plus three. We need to raise mood, so that might be good. Oh, this is good too. Yeah, this is objectively better to travel to Toulouse, where our father was born. Go to the dentist. 
<laughs> Appropriately lowering mood. I don't know why it raises social life though, because I don't ever want to talk to the dentist. We'll travel to Toulouse. Your son Jean pays you a visit. Well, thank you, Jean. You're the one I always liked the most. Valentin Pichet. As a young man, your father worked as a tailor's assistant and traveled to almost every city in southwest France, delivering clothes to or picking up payments from customers. April 1960, Eric Peugeot, youngest son of the founder of Peugeot, was kidnapped in Paris. Kidnappers release him 15 April in exchange for $300,000 ransom. What will be your decision for this month? Deny the invitation of a friend to go to Paris, so we save money, but... Take a huge hit to social life. We don't need to save too much money, I don't think. Travel to Nantes. Uh, we can choose to watch TV instead of going to the stadium to see Toulouse FC football match. I think we'll travel. You gained a new nickname. <laughs> what? <laughs> what is the nickname? Old, old Man Pouget? Well, I guess we didn't like it because it lowered our... Our stats. On one of his trips in the small town of Cahors, the young Nicolas Puget met a beautiful brunette girl whose light blue eyes contrasted with the dark waters of the river Lot. It was here in the Pont Rentre that he was, for the first time in his life, in love. I like the writing uh, so far, and it, it really does paint a picture of. Uh, of the era or I guess it's, it evokes the mood that he's going for and I think this royalty free music that he chose uh, was a good was a good decision along with the sepia kind of filter he has going on these pictures what will be your decision for this month paint a picture watch the movie pickpocket oh, so these are the same I think we'll paint the priest of the Cathedral, Saint Antien, has blessed you. Well, thank you, sir. Juliette Moreau is the adopted daughter of a pharmacist who, having no luck with his trade in nearby Presec, decided to try for better results in Cahors. June 1960. The Mali Federation between Senegal and Sudanese Republic gains independence from France. I'm not quite certain how these kind of topical current events fit in. I suppose he's just trying to set the stage of, of, of the era, perhaps. What will be your decision for this month? Uh, we'll do this because it goes a little easier on our money and got some good bonuses. Oh, a loved one is in the hospital. So, <laughs> this is kind of the the meat of the game. This is This is essentially color sunset you get these kind of story snippets and these choices with some randomization on the outcomes and I don't know is it is it fun that's an interesting question that really depends on whether you think it's necessary for a game to be fun and it's that idea is really being challenged these days when we see a lot of games that are more experimental um, more about just an experience, like Proteus or Dear Esther, which I guess you could say started the the trend of these these kind of games. And I personally find them interesting, and especially this, the ones that stand out to me, I think are are great in the way that they challenge our ideas of what games are. Like I don't even think about you know what it's like to be an old man in France, <laughs> but now I'm thinking about it. It makes me think about what my twilight years will be like, and I've never had that occur to me in a game. Usually a game is about feeling awesome and stomping enemies and, you know, and, and I, I just think it's, it's great how our genre or our medium is expanding. Um, so that's Cohort Sunset. I'm not sure how you feel about it, but I think it's pretty fascinating and I'm glad I got to play it. Thanks for watching guys, have a good one.